Hi, my friends. I'm going to try and speak up because I don't have much of a voice left. I spent a lot of time talking last night to various people. So, as you all know, well, maybe you don't. Yeah, you do. I can't remember. Anyway, um, my Andy passed peacefully at 6.40 a.m. this morning. I'm coming on here again because it's my intention that I want you to all be with me during this process. I've said it before in other videos, but I want this to hit home because I'm sharing my grief with the entire world. I consider myself very lucky that I was and am kind of a creepy kind of girl. That I was always fascinated by death and dying and what was on the other side and the whole process. It is so important, and I can't stress this enough, to talk about death and dying before it happens. Find out what your loved ones want done. It will make the process so much easier. Despite all the pain and suffering you're going through, death is a business. Life doesn't stop because somebody died. As you can probably hear, I'm doing laundry. I don't have a choice. I don't have any clothes left to wear. And I'm still caring for my stepdad. And that's a responsibility I still have to carry despite the fact that he's really not sure what's going on. Um, these are the things I want to talk to you about. And I want to take you through this because I want if this just gets home to one person, I've made my point. Death is an important part of life. It is just as important as living. Luckily, my Andy and I always discuss these things, and I knew exactly what he wanted. Now, although he's been estranged from his family, who are legal next of kin, because Andy and I were not married, and California no longer recognizes common law marriage. So I have no control over Andy's health care situation or his remains. It had to be left up to his children, which were next of kin. I have been fortunate enough that his family, not knowing me from Adam, other than the fact that I've been with him all of these years, have been gracious enough to let me in on the planning phase. Not to mention the fact because I am here in California with him, I know the healthcare system and I know what to do to take care of Andy. Andy's wishes were to be cremated and to be buried at sea. We have a wonderful crematorium here that does both. So they will pick him up from the hospital they will take him and have him cremated. And then at some point, you know, probably a week or two in the future, they will take him out to sea and bury him. Um, then there's the process of figuring out what do you do with your life moving forward from here. So those are all things you need to think about ahead of time. You have to plan it's a hard thing to do, but it's something that absolutely needs to be done. And if you do it, and you understand the business process of death and dying, then it will be so much easier because it will take less time to have to deal with all of these issues. And then you can have your time to finally just let it go and grieve for your loss. Now, I'm lucky with Andy and that he didn't own any property or anything like that. When my mom passed away, there was a lot of things to go through, from her name being on all the bills in the house, the bank accounts, the credit cards. You have to deal with all of that. 
please make sure that if you have things of that nature, property things or whatnot, that you get at least 10 copies of a death certificate. It's much better to pay for them up front than it is to get them on the back side because the price increases exponentially after that initial period. So I would always request at least 10 copies of a death certificate. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Mike, you can hear my crow buddy is out here on the um, phone pole close to the house. So he's keeping me company. I have appreciated the great outpouring of love from my tarot community, and this is how I wanted to give back. I want to show you, you can live through grief. You can do this. And although it's a shitty thing to have to deal with the business side of things because your heart is broken, it is a necessary evil in life. It just is. So as time goes on, I uh, may come on and do other videos. Um, but this one I thought initially was important to do uh, because some people need to know this. Some people need to get past the stigma of death and dying. Nobody gets out alive. We're all going to do this. Don't leave your loved ones hanging and not knowing what to do for you when you're not here anymore. Give them some peace of mind so they have some place to go where they don't have to think about it. They don't have to search for information about, oh my God, how do I take care of this? Talk about it ahead of time. Get a living will if you need to. Andy never wanted to do that. That was something I had to, I had to come to terms with. Andy was just Andy. He lived life on his terms, and that was it. But I was prepared for if something happened, what his wishes were, and how to go about it the right way. Death needs to be talked about more, and it needs to be talked about in a positive manner. I was lucky enough that several of Andy's friends came to the hospital last night to spend some time and to say goodbye. They took care of me. And I'm being cared for. They're making sure that I'm getting food and water and everything else that I need. So, um, I guess that's all I have for right now. Um, just know that uh, I am seeing your posts. I am feeling the love and the Reiki energy and the healing. And feeling the candles and the crystals. I am seeing your posts. I'm just not responding. I'm seeing your videos. And I can't thank you all for the love and support uh, because real friends at this time are truly appreciated. You also know that during the tough times, the real tough times, is when you figure out who your real friends are. And that is so very true, and this is no different. It's just a way of life. It's the way things are. It's not good. It's not bad. It just is. All right, guys. I send you much chakra love, and I'll talk to you later.